What's up, muscle car people? Bring it, muscle cars here. Wash Wednesday, here we go. Guys, on today's episode, we are going Why to be. Wait, what? Coming in a little too hot. You man. yelled at me last time because I, I know, wasn't. Just a little too hot. All right, guys. On today's episode, we are going to be reviewing a drying towel. This is from the Rag Company. It's called the Gauntlet. That alone just sounds intimidating. It's supposedly the best drying towel on the market right now. Uh, we're in the midst of detailing our friend Ryan's Audi, which you'll see on another episode. Um, yeah, so this is it. I haven't opened it before. Here goes the paperwork. Is this one towel? Holy crap. This is a 30 by 36 inch towel. Um, it smells really good too. It smells brand new. Uh, I would hope it smells brand new. Yeah, it's supposed to be the best on the market. Uh, we'll see how well it dries. Cameraman, what's coming here? We're gonna try the hood here. Ideally, you should be able to do this in one pass. Mm. Well, and they also suggest though, you wanna wet these first. I know that sounds counterintuitive. They dry better when they're wet. And the reason being is the weight of the water on the towel actually makes it cling better to the water on the paint. But I will say this is actually pretty, pretty good at drying the car. And all we, and it's also the size of it, it's huge. It covers the whole damn windshield. Yeah, that's pretty good in my opinion. It's better than any of the other towels I have that you just pick up at the auto store. So you just throw it on. One pull across. I mean, that's being pretty dry. That's it, really. This was $24.99 off Amazon, which, you know, kind of seems expensive for a towel but it claims it's the best on the market and I can, like that's dry. I mean, it might have left a little bit of streaks. That's completely dry to the touch. Uh, it's way better than anything I've ever used before. Hands down. What about the sham wow? Yeah, um, no. We're just gonna go with a no on the sham wow there. I've used uh, Griot's, I've used Adam's, I've used 303 drying towels. This thing's phenomenally better. Even if you don't do like the one pass method and just kind of use it like a normal towel like that, it still pretty much takes one pass to dry. That's really phenomenal actually. So that just did like the whole side of the car in one pass, really. Got a little bit on the door and the mirrors, but wow. Easily worth the 25 bucks for this towel. It's heavy too, uh, very well constructed. It's got, it's sewed on the seams. I don't really know what the difference between sides is, but yeah, How, I would. Uh, what about washing? Instructions. I'm not really sure what the washing instructions are. Let's check the label here. Machine washable. That's it. Don't use bleach or fabric softeners. Uh, wash temp lower than 140 degrees, aka just use the air setting on your dryer if you're going to dry it that way, or just let it dry on its own. 
no big deal. Uh, yeah, that just, that dried the car off in no time. Uh, this is actually quite phenomenal of a towel. Uh, people recommended this, so I thought I'd get one. I would also recommend this towel. Made in South Korea, it's big, it covers pretty much any panel in one or two passes. Uh, get it wet first and it's going to work even better. I don't know what else to say. If you like this video, we're going to be reviewing more detailing products, washing more cars, testing more chemicals. So make sure you like, subscribe, and as always, if you've got a fast car, better bring it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to link a couple videos. Well, I'm going to link a video on this side right here, right under the S550 that you probably will like. And I'm going to link a playlist for something similar to what you just watched right here. Please click one of those. Click that subscribe button because we need as many subscribers as possible to keep bringing you this awesome content. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more action.